Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video we will be looking at when is fuel to the engines cut off or reduced automatically or manually. Fuel and engines. On gas turbine engines, fuel is needed to keep the engines running. When the engines are started on ground, Fuel is slowly introduced during the start sequence and burnt with the help of igniters in the combustion chamber. Once the engine's high pressure shaft reaches a specific rotation speed, the igniters cut off. The fuel is constantly fed to the engines until the end of flight when the aircraft is on ground and engines are switched off. However, in certain abnormal cases, the fuel to the engines may be cut off or reduced automatically or manually. Let's look at a few of these cases in more detail. Fuel cutoff or fuel reduction. Engine fire. In case of an engine fire, the fuel supply must be cut off to that engine or it may have serious consequences. The aircraft has fire switches in the cockpit. When these switches are pressed, it will stop the fuel supply to the engines. Thrust malfunctions The amount of thrust generated by the engines changes with the amount of fuel that is sent for combustion. On some modern aircraft, in case there is an uncommanded increase in the thrust, the engine computers will reduce the fuel flow to the engine. On ground, if there is an uncommanded increase in thrust, the computers can even cut off the fuel to the engines. Unlocked thrust reversers. The thrust reversers are used on ground after an aircraft lands to reduce the speed of the aircraft. If the thrust reversers get deployed in air, it will affect the controllability of the aircraft. The thrust must be reduced on the engine by reducing the fuel flow to the engine. This may be done automatically or manually. Engine computer failure. The engine's computer controls and monitors the engine parameters as per the aircraft requirements. In case of failure of this computer, the engine control is lost and the engine parameters are not monitored. So the fuel must be cut off by putting the engine switch to off. Engine vibrations and engine stall. In case of engine vibrations or an engine stall, the initial action would be to reduce the fuel flow to the engine. This is to prevent damage to the engine. After reducing the fuel to the lowest setting, if the engine parameters are beyond the required limits, the fuel has to be cut off by setting the engine switches to off. When an aircraft is in flight, due to some abnormalities, the fuel may have to be reduced or completely cut off from the engines. This may be done automatically or manually. When the engine is running, if the thrust is reduced, the fuel flow to the engine will be reduced. If the engine switch is set to off, the fuel flow is cut off to the engine. That's all for my video on reducing and cutting off the fuel flow. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.